back. Now we'll move to something else. We will push plans right now to the server. Uh, this episode will going a little bit interesting because we will learn how to upload files with data. In addition to this, we will learn how we can preview the file before we uh, post it to the server. So we can show the file or the content of the pictures on the UI before we pushing it to the server. So let's get started. <clears throat> As we always do, first we go to the service and add uh, the function that will talk to the endpoint that's responsible to post a plan. And we, all, we also need uh, a model, which is a plan request to send a plan. Now let's move to the Swagger UI to check the plan. Now let's move to the Swagger documentation of our API to check the requirements to send a request to the server to add a new plan. Now this is the plan section. I'll go to the post, this one. <laughs> okay, it's slash API slash plans. Uh, we have to send in the body of the request an ID. I don't think, no, we don't need this one. Title, description, and the cover file. So we want to submit a form for the API. What we get in the response is basically uh, go to schema a plan operation response plan operation response which is only it's similar to the collection response like had the record which is the plan but only one plan instead of set of plans and the message is success and operation date okay now let's move back to visual studio here Plan single response. What do we have here? Ah, okay, it's ready. What we don't have is success and message. I don't think we need them for now. Now let's create a plan request. Add class. Call it plan request. Public string title and this one was required okay set a string length to 100 and description get set set a string length to 256 like this and the file right now the file is going to be a stream cover file Get and set okay if we don't post any file by default the api set a default file for it <coughs> but we will of course post a file to learn how we can do this actually the library case software dot uh, webabi.client provides you with a very easy mechanism to upload files but if you want to deep dive in details about how the operation done from creating an HTTP client set the access token or all the details that are related to the HTTP client and even in the server and the API to see how you can receive that file save it on the, in the folders you can watch a video you can find the, the link for it inside the description box about uploading files from server WebAssembly, sorry, from Blazor WebAssembly to ASP.NET Core Web API, a video inside the Blazor Topics series. But for now, now we have the model ready. We are ready to create the function that's responsible to upload a file. It's a single plan single response. This is the return type. Now post plan async takes basically a plan request model okay now var response oh, wait now to upload a file I want to also post protected async plan single response or form yeah, send form async, send form protected async, sorry, not post. 
because I will upload the file via form if we check uh, if you check the the postman in a previous uh, session like maybe in the plans component session you can see how we set the file inside the form in the postman we set the body as a form then we submit the form to the server we will do here the same thing this function send form protected async enables you to send set of uh, values like key values a bits of type string or files to the server now here we set what is the type we are expect from the server which is plan single response now we have to specify the url base url slash api slash plans like this the action type of the form is it post now yes it is post <clears throat> now here you can provide your key values inside this form actually we have three key and values title uh, description and a file now, each form key you can say new string form key value this one is the base type abstract type form key value we can use to string form key value or file form key value string basically set the key which is title and the value of this key is model dot title now the second one new string for key value description the value is going to be model description the third one is the file new file for key value I take the key which is called cover file And now the stream, which is model dot cover file, and the file name. I'm going to call it, or let's send it inside the plans request. model dot file name okay this is the process it's pretty simple just send form protected async define the type that you want to receive the api or the endpoint url uh, the type of the action is it post or put now just send each uh, key value as a string form key value the key and value or you can send a file form key value set the key then the stream that represents the file and the file name and as I have told you if you want to know what's going on inside this basically just watch the video upload blazor webassembly files to the server via sp.net core web api now we will return response dot response okay dot result like that right on description post a plan to the api object presents the plan to be added okay now we are ready from the shared project let's move back to the blazor app We need we will depend actually on a plugin called Blazor, the file reader that enables us to upload files from Blazor. So download, go to NuGet packages and say blazor.file reader. Okay, this one. Install. Okay, done. Now let's go to program.cs to register using blazor.fire reader 
folder services add file reader service options options dot use webassembly shared buffer equals to true now in this way we have the server that's responsible to upload files ready for us let's go to imports and just add this library using blazer dot file reader Now I'll go to pages and create a new razor component inside the plans folder, add new item, razor component, and I'll call it add plan. Okay. Now let's set the router for that page, slash plans slash add plan cool now it's protected as well authorize and inject the two services the first one is the plan service and inject the file reader service Also, we need to inject the navigation manager because we want to navigate from this page after adding the file or after uploading the plan. Now I'll change the plan, add a new plan, then here add class row inside this row I will add dev. Six. After that, I will add a resin card. Okay. Cool. Inside this one, first we need to provide a title. So I will add a resin text box placeholder equals to title or I think I have sorry to put this inside an edit form okay and inside this form here I will so the data annotation validator because there is validation for this and validation summary okay now I can continue with text boxes and whatever this for now is enough I should add another one text area because the description is going to be a little bit bigger than the title okay and here I'll add an input type file okay this one is for the cover file and here I'll add an image style width to 100% and margin equals to 10 pixels I will use this image to preview uh, the image file before uploading it to the server at the end I can add reds in button button style dot I will choose light okay that's it, we need to add just a little margin for this. Let's add horizontal line. Also, 
in the class btn tn block regarding the text i will set it to insert cool that's it let's just navigate to this page to check the design before we move on slash plans slash add plan Okay, we have got an error. Let's move to the developer. Ah, edit form requires a model. Yeah, that's right. We haven't set any model for that form. So the model is of type plan request. Plan request model equals to new plan request. Okay, model equals to model here run the app navigate plans slash add a plan enter okay somehow it's good but needs margin between these text boxes and this input file here I want to change the color of this button so let's do that. Style margin to ten pixel. Copy that. Light's not good. Let's make it sexes. Okay. Let's see now for the last time. Yeah, that's good. Um, and I think that's enough for this session because to not make it any longer. Uh, now in the next one, we can implement the function of choosing a file, previewing it here and validate the extension. So if the user choose, for example, a Word document, Excel sheet, it's going to show him an error. Like please choose an M, a valid file. And in the session after that, we it's going to be very easy just uh, call the function post insert post plan async from the UI and we will be done from add edit actually we're going to copy everything from add paste it uh, in a new component but we're going to receive an ID for the plan we want to edit just copy paste everything even the logic we just want to change something instead of send a post request to add a new plan we will send a put request to edit an existing plan so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode